Welcome back to Fabulum of Detailing. In this video, this is going to be my second review of Griot's Garage's foaming tire cleaner. We are going to clean these tires in the garage without a hose and a bucket. Let's do it. <laughs> So I have said many times in many of my videos that I do not give up on a product after the first attempt. I never have. I, actually, I'm sorry. There have been products in the past, before I started my YouTube channel, I used it once and either took it back or just threw it in the trash. Um, but this product right here, a couple weeks ago, I cleaned the Jeep. I did a rinseless wash with the Brilliant Finish rinseless wash. As you guys know, I'm using that stuff up, up like crazy. I, I absolutely love it. I'm looking at my bottle right now. Absolutely love that. I would highly recommend going and buying that if you want to do a rinseless wash. If you live in an apartment or you live in a place like, I, like it's pouring down rain right now, I can still wash the car inside, keep it inside until it gets done raining so it's clean. But anyways, that's not about this video. So what I did on the Jeep was it says you can use this, you can spray it on, agitate it, and then wipe it off with a microfiber towel for indoor cleaning, basically. I don't know if that's exactly what it says. Uh... Inner fender wells. I know it says you can do that. And maybe I saw it on their video. I can't really find it really quick, but I, I'm pretty sure I saw it. On, I know I saw it on their video, but I thought it said it on here. No big deal. Um, what I did on that is I sprayed it on, I agitated it, and wiped it down with the microfiber, and it worked extremely well. Did it work perfect? No. I'm, you're not, I don't think you're going to get perfect in a garage without, without a hose. I don't think you will. But you will notice here just a second, my grandparents' car is filthy and I was supposed to do a full detail on this weekend and it's been raining so I told her I would clean it in the garage and I'd at least get the wheels and tires clean I did the brilliant finish rinseless in here already and I didn't make a video on that let me show you guys something I bought this from Home Depot for seven dollars it's a gallon and I add the appropriate amount of brilliant finish rinseless on this and I use this as my spray for the lower panels actually with this I did the whole door I sprayed the whole door down and then I went into my bucket. It's an extremely safe way to do it. So let me uh, show you guys what these tires look like and we're gonna get the video started. They're filthy. See? Absolutely filthy. The wheels are really, really bad. I will probably clean those up because um, I'll clean this tire on camera and then I'll clean all four, but I'll probably do the wheels too and then come back and show you guys what they all look like. But as you can see, I mean, it's they're filthy. Fender wells are filthy. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that yet here in the garage. Um, not a whole lot that I can do. Like I said, they're bringing it back here in a couple weeks for me to do a full detail. Anyways, there you go. That's what the tires look like. All of them look like that. Even on the other side, I'll show you this one. Pretty bad as well. So, Let's get going. Okay, so what I've done is I've put a tape line, obviously. I'm gonna try to clean just this half of the tire so we can do it before and after, basically. I'm just gonna use my carpet brush that I have here for, it works great on tires. And then just a two gallon bucket of just water to rinse my bucket or my brush in. And then I got the foaming tire cleaner. And then I just basically put three paper towels down underneath the tire so it doesn't sit and soak the floor. And I didn't even do that last time. And I really didn't have much on the floor. There was just a little bit on the floor, so. My phone might ring during this, um, and if it does, I'm going to have to stop the video because I'm waiting on a call from my daughter. But I don't remember what this says. This says uh, three to five minutes. So you guys will go into a time lapse. You guys go into time lapse, and when four minutes is up, let's just go in the middle again. We'll start scrubbing on it. Now, I will reapply it if I have to, if it starts to dry. Okay, sorry, that was my daughter. Just as I was showing you guys the timer. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dip the brush into the bucket. I'm gonna get a little bit wet. I wanna show you guys, see, it's not real wet. The 
towel's not real wet down there. And we're gonna we're gonna rub this in. Ooh, see how brown it is. Now you want to use a utility towel to uh, wipe this off. You don't want to use a towel you're gonna put on paint. Now to be fair, when I did this the first time, I did not have this brush. This brush works a lot better than that other tire brush that I had. So let me show you guys. See that, it looks like mud. And I'm gonna take a towel, what this towel is, is this is one of my old polish removal towels. I've delegated it to you know tires and engine bays. I wash these separate from my paint towels, and when they get really bad like this, I'll probably just throw away. Are right, you guys seeing what I'm doing here? I'll probably just throw them away. This is the reason I don't give up on products. I was very happy with what it did on the Jeep. It is not as good as their liquid version, in my opinion. I mean, that liquid version looks really good. I like my Adams tire and rubber cleaner as well. All right, moment of truth, everybody loves. I'm gonna put this on the ground, but that's because I'm throwing it away. So don't wig out. Everybody wigs out about that stuff. All right, here we go. And my phone's still going off, I apologize. It's about the best 50-50 it can get you when you're putting a liquid on. There's your difference right there. It actually looks really good. Still don't know how I'm going to clean these fender wheels, but inside. There you go. I mean, that's a really good representation of it right there to there. Like I said, I do believe the liquid versions work better, but inside your garage, you don't have a hose, you can use this product like this, and I think it works really well. Let me show you this towel. This is what it looks like when you get done, so throw it away. It is not worth saving. It's not worth putting through your washing machine, in my opinion. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish this tire. I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to do all the other ones, and then I'll come back, and I will show you what they all look like. Okay, so all tires are done. I did not do the wheel wells, you guys. This was this video was just for the tires. I did clean the wheels because I wanted to clean them up after I got done doing that. I just used Grizz Garage Brilliant Finish. Brilliant Finish. Rinseless wash man. I love that product. I used it on the on the paint. It was the paint was tore up I mean, it was just nasty. It probably shouldn't have been using a rinseless wash on it, but it really did no damage at all and I can't do anything outside. It's been pouring down rain all weekend So this was supposed to be a full detail and it's turned into this and it's what's what it is. So here you go. Let's take a look at these tires Is it perfect? Absolutely not let me show you. See how this is dirt in here that I didn't get or the cleaner didn't get. But for cleaning the tires in your crotch, you really can't ask for much more than that. Before, I really didn't have a way to clean them without a hose, you know, a hose on a bucket. Take you around the other side. This tire's still a little wet. But as you can see, it just, they look really nice. And once you put a dressing on them, they'll look good. And when it comes back in a couple weeks for me to do the actual exterior detail on it, since I couldn't do it this weekend, they will get a complete scrub down with Griot's rubber cleaner. So that's why I wanted to do a second go around with this product. Like I've said before, I do not give up on products if I don't like it the first time. Typically, I don't. If I absolutely know it's not going to work, then yeah, I just get rid of it. But I'm glad that I took a second look at this, you guys, when I did it on the wife's Jeep. So that's why I had to make this video today to show you guys how well this actually does in your garage. Um, if you can wash your car outside with a hose and bucket, I would use a rubber cleaner. I, would, I wouldn't use this product. And you guys know that from my first review. Now, I've done 12 tires with this. It does say it deep cleans up to 60. I'm guessing it's about half full. I do one lap around this way and then one lap around that way, the way they show it in the video. 
Um, I don't think you're going to get 60 tires out of it. I think you probably get, I don't know, maybe more than half full, maybe 10 cars total, uh, four tires on 10 cars. Not probably not even that. Probably more like 30 tires. Let's just go with that because it, it definitely is, if it's, if it's more than half full, it's not much more than half full. Um, but I do like this product inside. It works extremely well, as you guys saw. It doesn't make a humongous mess. If you put some towel downs, towels down, you'll have absolutely no issue at all. Um, so as far as this product goes, the first time I did a review on it, I did not like it. I will give it one thumbs up, not two, just because there are better cleaners out there for when you're doing this in your driveway. And that was the purpose of this video to show you guys that it does work. It just doesn't work as good as other cleaners do in a normal wash situation. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Hit that subscribe button while you're down there. Uh, join the Fab Automotive Detailing community. Don't forget, every Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we go live. Love to see each and every one of you there.